Hey guys, what's up? I've uh, moved over here to where my ants are, and I want to show you guys some of my short delay tones from my blog, so you can get a sonic example of how to use a delay at home, how to kind of wrap your hand around using it for some other tricks that aren't the freaky long delays that everyone chases. You know, what are some things that you can use a delay that are really simple, but make a major difference in your tone. So I'm gonna go over my some short delay tricks on my blog. Three tricks I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do doubling your guitar tone with delay. It's a trick I use in the studio and live and when I'm jamming all the time. It's a great way just to kind of give your guitar a little bit of a boost without necessarily changing tonally what you're doing. You're just gonna sound fatter and a little more present in the mix. It's a great trick. Um, I'm also going to go over a little bit of how I use modulation and chorusing with this unit. Um, I use it for more of a Johnny Marr type tone. Then I'm going to go over slapback, which traditionally is done with a tape machine, but I'm going to show you how you can get a cheap slapback with any uh, delay you own, whether it's digital or analog. Then I'm going to go over my favorite setting, which I jokingly call fake ass reverb. This is something I use, I came up with as a concept when I used to gig a lot with Tweed 1959 Fender Basements. Basements, as you know, don't have reverb built into them. They were that Those Fender amps predated reverb. But one of the other tricks I would do if I didn't have a reverb pedal on my pedal board was using a delay at a particular setting to give your amplifier and your guitar tone some space so it sounds like when you're playing, you're not necessarily missing the reverb. This is a cool trick because sometimes reverb can make your playing sound a little mushy, whereas a delay will give it some more definition and, and it sounds in a way prettier. So I use this trick a lot. So let me show you guys my settings. All right guys, so we've gone over uh, my settings for my first setup here. I'm gonna show you how to double your tone with the delay pedal. I'm using a 1952 Texas Guitar Workshop Blackguard Telecaster. This was made for me by my guitar tech at Texas Guitar Workshop. I wanted a Blackguard that was legit and he delivered. It even has a real deal 1950s bridge pickup in it from a 50s Telecaster. I don't know how he scored that for me, but he did. And it's got the brass saddles and this thing just oozes tone. So this is what I'm gonna be using in this video. I'm running through my vintage memory man into a 1966 deluxe reverb. So for most of my students, you guys know that I recommend deluxe reverb for when you're playing at home. You can get a nice full tone without killing your neighbors or killing your ears. So let's check it out. All right, guys, I got my memory man on and my settings I've just shown you. So here's how to double your tone. Remember you want your mix knob or blend control, depending on how it's labeled on your delay pedal, turned all the way up for this. And you're gonna use a relatively short delay time uh, between uh, under 100 milliseconds, really more like 50. So it's a really short delay, but because we're blending that all the way into your guitar signal, it's gonna fatten your guitar and give you that fatter tone. So I have my, my feedback where the number of repeats at zero as well. So check this out, this is a really cool trick. Here's my tone bypass. Sounding pretty awesome. So I'm gonna engage my delay now and I'm gonna start getting, you'll notice a fatter, kind of creamier thing.
it's a little bright, it's a little harsh. <laughs> dig it but when I add the delay this is what I like about doing this trick other than just mushing your tone with reverb I'm gonna add a little reverb back into my signal but when I turn this on you get a little creamier you get a little bit more musical it sounds a little processed in a good way <laughs> So that's one of my secrets. Now I'm going to switch my delay time and I'm going to show you guys how to achieve a slapback setting. So let's talk about slapback delay. What is it? Slapback delay is primarily the, is the sound you would get when you run a tape head and from point A to point B what happens as that signal travels there's a little bit of a distance the note would immediately slap back and give you it almost sounds like the sound punches you a little bit. It's a little bit different it's really notorious for being used in country music and rockabilly, and it's a great trick. It doubles your sound, but also you're hearing a slight slap, so it gives it a more percussive kind of sound. Um, great for rhythmic guitar playing and playing chords. So again, here's my dry tone. Sounded pretty good. I got my mix. I got it at about 100 milliseconds. You really want between 80 milliseconds and 140, that's kind of the range for a true slapback delay in terms of how long it is between the echo and your dry guitar tone. You really, how to find that on electroharmonics is really, I know that my pedal has 350 milliseconds of delay, so each notch is just going up in 50s. So if you kind of ballpark it around there, you can find 100 and then kind of figure out from there, do you need a little more time or a little less time, and you can dial in your slapback from there. Um, I have my feedback set at zero, and I have my mix knob, half the way up. So check this out. I'm going to turn on my memory man and we're going to get some slap here. slapping back. Um, you'll hear often like Brad Paisley use this a lot when you get also helps give it a sense of room and a sense of the room having a bit of a bounce to it. That's really the other thing you'd hear it bouncing back into the microphone. So that's what we're emulating here. So now we're going to go into my final short delay setting. I jokingly call this setting fake ass reverb. And the reason I call it that again, I had to come up with a way to use delay when I was running a basement. So this is a way if I always have a delay pedal on my pedal board, I have some version of this either saved as a preset if I'm using that option or I will set a delay pedal to this setting because I find it in a way more inspiring than just having reverb on your amp. You get a, a beauty to the notes. So I'm actually going to play my amp with reverb. Here's my bypass signal. So I'm going to turn my reverb off now, and I'm going to adjust my settings to get fake-ass reverb. So how to get 
fake ass reverb. You want your delay time at 100, to between 100 and 200 milliseconds. You want to be set for about five repeats on the feedback and you want your mix knob at 50%. All right guys, I got my fake ass reverb settings on my deluxe memory man. So again, here's my dry signal without any reverb, just running through it. Turn on my deluxe memory man, or my vintage memory man, I should say. And here's my reverb tone. and I get a sense of space like you would with reverb with a hand of repeats. So I'm getting a little bit of echo, but I, it's not really all that different from my amp. It's a little, it gives my guitar a little more 3D effect than reverb. Reverb by comparison sounds a little one dimensional when using a delay in this way. And I think it becomes really great for lead lines. <laughs> So when you play chords, you get a nice sense of space. So there you have it guys, those are my three short delay tricks. Be sure to subscribe to Machakis Music on here on YouTube. Check out our videos on Facebook at Machakis Music, Facebook slash Machakis Music. And if you want to really read in depth with what I'm talking about with these videos, follow machakismusic.com slash blog. I update it every week with new tips on how students can play. These are all tips that I've learned in my, in my career as a session musician. I really think you guys will enjoy it. Thanks so much, guys. Keep on playing. Peace.